Hey guys, we are back with some more Kingston Front Knocks East that Hockey Manager. And in this one, we are going to get to the OHL Priority Selection Draft. However, the Owen Sound and the Barry Colts are still in a playoff series for the Ross Robertson Cup, which I believe is the OHL Championship. But first, we have to go through the OHL Priority Selection. So, we have the third pick. And... Let's go to it. So let's see who is going first overall. That'd be Rocco St. Jacques. So no longer Connor Lockhart as uh, Emin Sch Schluting is now going second. So that means Connor Lockhart has dropped to number three, which is where we are picking. So we may be able to get our hands on the goal scorer, Connor Lockhart here, which would be huge. He is 646 with the Ottawa minor Bantam team. But he is looking phenomenal with that 81 for wrist shot. Already NHL ready wrist shot. Off the puck is 70. Deking 61. Great mental category. He, he's got some decent speed already. 67. And he's only 16 years of age. This kid could be special. But let's see what happens. Because we all know that the draft in this game does not normally go according to plan. So let's see who goes first. And that would be... Uh, the ninth overall pick, apparently, in Zenon Arsenault. They were ranked ninth. And Zenon Arsenault goes first overall to Windsor. Oh, my. Second overall, let's see. And it will not be anyone in the top three. So, as expected, <laughs> Jared Gardner, 25th overall rank, goes second overall. What is this game? <laughs> Okay, so all the top three, all the top five for that matter, all the top eight, I should say, are available with pick number three. So you really can't go wrong here as uh, Rocco St. Jacques, he's not really as ready technically as Connor Lockhart is. So I think I'd take Lockhart over St. Jacques. Schluting, I mean, he's a defenseman, but we desperately need some forwards. I mean, we, we kind of need a little bit of everything here, but Connor Lockhart, he looks to be, oh, he, he, he looks really good. Goal scoring first line potential like Jordan Everly. Plays a two-way game, has strong determination, classy player, good skater with speed to burns, finds the net with unerring regularity, can intimidate opponents with his play, a playmaker of the very highest caliber, sometimes goes for extremely flashy moves, which obviously will benefit him at the junior level. Scores goals from rebounds and deflections, so you can place him on front of the net. And he's he's great at sniping as well. He's got a great wrist shot, excellent at finding open ice. A talented sniper with a knack for controlling the puck. Has a good sh selection of shots. Needs to improve physical strength, defense, decision making, and passing, however. But, you know, he looks to be a great sniper as we compare him to this guy, Rocco St. Jacques. I mean, we may as well take a look at the report card. Yeah, I don't really like his report card here. In terms of his left side, and but yeah, I really like Connor Lockhart's left side. Uh, besides his defense, he's got an E plus there. That's unfortunate, but you know he's a pure offensive player, and that's what we desperately need right now. But we will take a look at our head scout recommendation here. Ali Burns, fifteen years of age, decent mental category, not great physically. He's got. Decent deking, decent off the puck, decent passing, decent wrist shot. And he had 57 points last year for the Kitchener minor midget team. With a 644 average rating. Let's see his scouting report. Only two star currently for his current level. And he, he's a superb agitator. He, there's not really much about him that's uh, better than... What's his name? Lockhart, besides maybe his defense, who's at a C minus. Casual determined Mel. I, I would much rather take Clyro Lockhart. And where is this guy going? He's ranked 51. So yeah, we can take him with our next pick. I really want Connor Lockhart here. So draft. Welcome to the Kingston Front Knacks. Connor Lockhart with the third overall pick. So we'll fast forward to our next pick, which is the 25th overall pick in the second round. Eric Anderson, so did that 51st overall guy go? I guess he did, because the our head, head scout's no longer recommending him. Where did he... 
Did he go somewhere? Yeah, he went seventh overall. Jeez. I mean, yeah, this this game is completely unpredictable when it comes to the draft. And it appears not just at the NHL level, at the OHL level as well. So it appears just every draft is completely random as Hogan Glover, the fifth overall ranked guy, is still available. So let's see. He's got good stick handling. Well, decent stick handling. Not good, but decent for this level anyway. Uh, 39 wrist shot, 38 off the puck, 44 passing. Uh, he's got a 75 bravery, 73 teamwork. Not great physically other than his agility and acceleration. He kind of needs that speed up there a little bit. He is a defenseman, though. So let's see. Uh, what about his scouting report here? Three-star current rating, offensive defenseman. Let's see. Uh, he's not great defensively as a defenseman. He, yeah, definitely a more offensive defenseman. 56 points with Chicago U18 in the Tier 1 Elite Hockey League. Uh, I'll, I'll keep looking. I mean, he's ranked 5th, so yeah, definitely can't overlook that. But uh, I, want, I would keep looking to see what else is available here. Henry Neal, 6'5", for 16 years of age. Oh my goodness. Uh, 36 points, 27 goals, so definitely a sniper there. Let's see, uh, not really great with the puck handling, not great defensively either, so pure goal scorer in Henry Neal. Off the puck, 45, deflections, 37, great mental category, uh, he's, he's decent physical. Let's take a look elsewhere, Eric Anderson, great flirt, great teamwork, and great work rate. Decent physical category, which that speed was up there a little bit, but I guess as a defenseman, he doesn't really need it. As long as it's decent, which it is for this level anyway, 42. And then uh, wrist shot, 41. Slap shot, 41. Goal scoring defenseman, possibly. And a 51 for passing. So, it doesn't have a bad average rating. 662. You could definitely turn that into something. National Juniors Prospects Hockey League U18. Let's see his report card. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. I like his defense better than that other guy. He's got an A minus for shot and scoring, A minus for hockey sense. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I wouldn't be opposed to getting him for sure. He's got anticipation at 42. So definitely a good recommendation there by our head scout. Douglas Knox, I would take uh, I would take er Eric Anderson over him, and Douglas Knox. Okay, so now it's between I think for me it's between Hogan Glover and Eric Anderson. Let's compare the two. I think I saw that Anderson's defense was much better. So Glover is better with off the puck, but worse with everything else, pretty much. And he's got a much worse teamwork, work rate, flair. Better bravery, creativity, and determination. So Glover would be better on the power play. But Anderson is better all around, I would say. You don't have any statistics on them. Anderson's younger as well. He's 15. Only by a few months, but yeah, still. Six foot three as well as a defenseman. I like that. But then again, Glover could play... Either defensive position, Anderson can only play the left defense. Yeah, honestly, I think I would take Eric Anderson over a Hogan Glover, and we need a defenseman. So, Eric Anderson, welcome to the Kingston Frontenacs. Fast forward to round number three, and <laughs> Glover's still there. Alrighty. William Shank, a 15-year-old left winger. Good wrist shot, good off the puck. Decent deflections. Good work rate as well. Great work rate. Right? Already 99. Physical category isn't there though. Three star current rating. Report card. D minus puck handling. D minus defense. So another score basically. Although he's at 41 assists in 46 games. There's 67 points with Burlington of the South Central AAA League. 685 average rating. So I think I would I would take him over Douglas Knox for sure. But do I want Hogan Glover? That's the thing, because 
he uh we definitely need defensemen based off our defensive performances last year and with anthony aguano moving on more than likely anyway uh he definitely would not be a bad pickup taylor or, uh dean taylor though in terms of a goaltender we definitely need a goaltender this guy was not not that bad in the heo midget triple a league 35 wins, 6 losses, 9 ties, 231 goals against average, 913, 702 average rating. So even though we don't have a complete reading on him, that might not be a bad pick, especially for a 15-year-old goalie. So, I mean, you take a forward, you take a defenseman, then you take a goaltender. It's a possibility. From, from what we're seeing currently, it looks like he has a few greens in there. So he's not terrible i want to say especially based off those stats right so but the question is with hogan glover still available do i take him and then dean taylor hmm if i can get glover and then get lucky with taylor still being there what's our current roster looking like if i go to goaltenders we have ryan dugas still and he was our main goaltender last year he was he's 17 years of age so he's not going anywhere I don't think anyway. Is he available? Is he uh, eligible for the draft? I don't think so. Yeah, I think he's got one more year till he's uh, draft eligible for the NHL. So we'll go for Hogan Glover here because our defensive core was not too great. Other than Anthony Aguano, was not too great last year. So Hogan Glover, welcome to the Kingston Front Knocks. And let's hope that Dean Taylor is still available with our next pick. And he is. But uh, there are some other options here, so we'll take a look here. Cedric Callahan of Brockville, 15-year-old right winger. Good at stick handling, not much else. Uh, decent determination, decent work rate, and teamwork. Not a good physical category. Three-star currently. Yeah, good puck handler, but not much else on him. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to put up the points. He's got a 5.53 at his current level with it which is central canada hockey league two so i think i'd rather take dean over him william odgers we don't even have a full scouting report on him i'm not gonna even bother uh whitney strello three star a plus for hockey sense a a for puck handling be my shot and scoring 15 year old right winger five foot nine 652 average rating in the national junior prospects hockey league 21 goals, 24 assists in 50 games. Not too bad. Another scoring winger, though. So I think I'd rather, honestly, just take Dean Taylor. It'll give us some good depth at goal, especially because when you consider the fact that uh, Brennan Bonello and Mario Pachia not only are getting up there in age in terms of, you know, being a junior player, but were not good at all last season. So we will be taking... Dean Taylor with our fourth round pick. Welcome to the Kingston Front Knox. Fifth round, or sixth round, okay. We don't have a fifth round pick. <laughs> Jordan Granado. Don't have a full scouting report on him. Can't, can't even click scouting report. 604 average rating, 26 points. Uh, not going to bank on him. I don't have a scouting report on him. Then I probably don't want him. Blaze Koopman. He's got a D plus for puck handling, B for defense, B minus for hockey sense. As a, see, he's a definitely a defensive forward there. Six twelve average rating, he's thirty seven hitting, decent speed, decent strength, decent agility, decent determination. I don't know. I'd, I'd keep looking, to be honest. Dustin Taylor, don't even have a full report on him. Let's take a look at Tobias Pelletier. 22nd rank, uh, 57 positioning, so he could be good defensively. 35 poke check, 42 hitting, 56 checking. Oh, this guy could be great defensively, actually, for, for the junior level anyway. Uh, 92 work rate, 90 teamwork, 85 determination. This this could, this could kid could be good. He's only got a two-star current rating, but that A- minus for defense, we definitely need defensemen who can play defense and he has a 724 average rating as a defensive defenseman that's pretty good yeah i might just want to take him now yeah i i 
don't even need to keep looking. I'm going to take Tobias Pelletier because we definitely need that shutdown defensive defenseman who's capable, who has, who's actually capable of playing defense. So there we go. Tobias Pelletier with the 114th overall pick in round number six. So up to round number seven. How many rounds are there in the OHL draft? I'm not even sure. Uh, Jordan Granato, Koopman, Taylor, we already looked at all these guys. Jordan Winotique, w w Wittonique. I <laughs> butchered that one. Uh, 596 average rating. Uh, not too attractive there. This guy, Cameron McCulloch. Uh, 46 passing, 55 off the puck. 42 face-offs, 51 deking, 57 deflections. Uh, he's got decent mental category, decent speed as well. History, 634 average rating, 48 points in 50 games with Sudbury of the great Northern Midget League. So not course not the Sudbury of the OHL because why would he be in the OHL draft if he was already in the OHL uh, scouting reports only a one star currently but a five star future rating a plus hockey sense uh, not the greatest shot scoring or puck handling or defense wise even however he, he is he's got some good technicalities on him that could potentially make him a good player. So I'll take Cameron McCulloch here with the 121st overall pick. And we have another seven round pick. All right, so all these these three guys are still available. Uh, this guy's on the IR for how long? Uh, day to day. Okay, so he should be back soon. No, no reason to worry about him too much. 604 average rating, two star currently. A report card, not terrible. Poor self belief, don't like that. He's only five foot five. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's only fifteen years of age though, so he's he's still got growing to do. But five foot five, wow, <laughs> he's probably gonna end up being like five foot seven or something by the time he stops growing. She's Everett Perot. We don't have a full report on him. Rael Grabovic, definitely butchered that as well. <laughs> Uh, Jared, Gerard Swan, good mental category, good speed, positioning, poke check, face-offs, checking, decent defensive center, it looks like, three-star current rating, uh, doesn't have the greatest report card, what is history, 560 average rating, don't like that, do not like that, Tristan Newman, 44 passing, let's see, scouting reports, one-star current rating, D defense, I'd prefer to take a forward here, we've already taken two defensemen. So if it comes down to it, we might just take Blaze Koopman just because he's being recommended. Because sometimes the re those recommended players can turn out to be something. I mean, listen to your staff. Sometimes it pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. Shot and scoring B for this guy, Mario Rimmer. A for hockey sense. D for puck handling. 16-year-old left wing. Uh, 40 points. 27 goals. 624 average rating with the Sault Ste. Marie of the Great Northern Midget League. And, I mean, he's, he's decent speed, nothing else physically. Teamwork 69, creativity 69. So he could be a decent power play player, especially with that slap shot and wrist shot. Yeah, you know what? He's the best guy who's, who I've seen so far for this round anyway. I'll take Mario Rimmer with this pick. Welcome to Kingston. And eighth round now, so more than seven rounds here. Uh, Owen Vero, not ranked. Yeah, we don't even have a scouting report on him. Not going to bother. Mark Morissette. Another sniper, it appears. As he's got that slap shot, slap shot and wrist shot. Scouting report, five star. No star current rating. Yeah, definitely a sniper here. Uh, 46 points in 42 games. 690 average rating, so that's not too bad. He might not be a bad pickup. I'm going to keep looking, though. I feel like we could do better. Uh, Nick Vaughn, center, 16 years of age. Passing off the puck, face-offs, deking, and deflections on the orange. And then anticipate. He's got a good mental category. Good speed, agility, stamina as well. Uh, One-star current rating, report card. Good hockey sense. Not much else. But... 
he does simulate well enough that he might be a, end up being a good player, at least at the OHL level. So I'm going to go ahead and take Nick Vaughn with this pick. Welcome to Kingston. So we're going into ninth round now. There's a, a lot more rounds here in the OHL priority selection than in the NHL draft, it appears. As a 702 average rating for this guy, Will Falk. Offensive playmaking forward, report card, A for hockey sense. I mean, we're not going to have a perfect report card at this point in the draft, but uh, he looks pretty solid, at least in terms of how he simulates. 61 points, 702 average rating. He's got passing off the puck, deking, deflections, anticipations up there at a 66. That could end up helping him out. And he's got a 61 for speed. If we don't find anyone better, then I I'd say he's definitely the pick. Stuart Harrington. He's average everywhere, it appears, based on his report card. Let's see. Average rating is a 7 for a defenseman. But he doesn't really have much technically that's going to help him out. His anticipation's down there as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like Harrington here. I mean, he's got the average rating, but for where his report card is, he doesn't have the technical category that's going to help him out. And the, the anticipation definitely is not there for a defenseman. You'd need that, so... Uh, I'm going to say no to Harrington. I'd rather take Will Folk. Daily Walter. He got a good mental category. Scouting report, two-star current rating. C-plus for defense, defensive center. At 48 points, almost a seven-average rating in 50 games. Uh, he's got some things going for him. He's got that determination. He could end up being something, but I think I'd rather take Will Folk. Colin Gettinger, we don't have a full report. No full report. Uh, Evan McIver, 37 positioning, 35 poke check, 37 hitting, 42 faceoffs, 36 checking. Defensive center, teamwork 95, bravery 77, aggression 66. Got good strength, good stamina, nothing else physically otherwise. Again, I think I'd rather take Will Folk, honestly. Let's see. Karen Mastiel. Three-star current rating. Definitely defensive center. Six foot. 658 average rating. Positioning up there. Passing. Face-offs. Checking. He doesn't really have the anticipation. See, those de those defensive players really need the anticipation. Otherwise, if, if they don't have the technical category and no anticipation, then they're probably not going to be a good player. Jake Bablitz. We don't have a full report on him. He, he looks like he simulates well just based off his average rating. But yeah, I'll just take Will Falk here, to be honest. Welcome to Kingston. Going into round 10. So Jacob Bennington, uh, yeah, no full report. Quinnard, no full report. Odeline, no full report. Uh, we might be saying that a lot here at this point in the in the draft, given that we're in round number 10. So Mark Morissette. It's a sniper. He's still available. He's got a decent mental category. He's got that anticipation, so that might end up helping him out. He's 86. He's supposed to go 86 overall. We're now at 183. So, yeah, we'll just take Mark Morris set. He looks promising. Uh, round 11 now. Jeez. When is this going to be over? <laughs> how many picks do we have? How many, how many uh, rounds are there? There is, oh, my goodness, 15 rounds. Okay, so we still have a few to go here. So we may as well speed this up a little bit. Just so that we can uh, sort of get through this. So a 15-year-old, he's got that 62 anticipation. So that even if he doesn't have the greatest technical category, that might end up helping him out a little bit. A 658 average rating. Hmm. I'll keep looking, but not a terrible choice. Uh, yeah, I have nothing on this guy. Out of line, yeah, nothing. Stuart Harrington, we've already seen. But... At this point in the draft, he may not be a bad pick. 42 points, 7 average rating. That, that's the part I really like about Harrington is his 7 average rating. So I wasn't going to take him before, but just given that we're this late in the draft, uh, he might be the best pick, honestly. Yeah, we'll go for Stuart Harrington here. See if it turns out to be something. Welcome to Kingston. Round 12, and that's another reason why I don't want to take too much time. <laughs> we, we still have four rounds to go. 
Uh, no one's Saunders. No. Nah. Evan McIver. Again, I kind of want them, if they don't have the technical category, I want them to have the anticipation for sure. Uh, this guy's anticipation. He's a goalie. Etienne Valois. Definitely butchered that. Uh, 896 save percentage, 662 average rating. Uh, let's take a look at our head scouts recommendation. Nah, uh, not feeling that. No, uh, he's from New Jersey, so I <laughs> have a little bit of favoritism there, but no, not feeling that either. No, yeah, we don't, there's not really a whole lot left at this point. And there's Braden Fitzgerald here, his passing off the puck and wrist shot. Speed 77, teamwork 65, anticipation's up there at 37, so he could be a decent depth player. He's got a 690 average rating. Let's take a look at his report card. Yeah, he's, got, he's actually, for this point of the draft, that's a decent report card. B, B minus, B minus. Uh, offensive defenseman, it looks like. Yeah, we'll take him. Best guy I've seen so far this round. Uh, 13th round now, so again, pretty much shot in the dark at this point. Patrick Gibson. It looks like that goaltender went. Uh, Gee Sievers. No. Sebastian Mullen. No. Again, we need that anticipation. So you know what? I'm going to set the attributes. Uh, anticipation for 50, at least. So Jake Bablitz. Rocco Beaudry. Sniper, looks like. And then Cone Auger. 5'5". Five five. Uh, Ryan Paquette. Yeah, I mean, he's got a very lacking physical category, but at this point in the draft, you take what you can get. Rocco Beaudry. Jake Bloblitz? Sure. I mean, he's, he was supposed to go 118th. We're at 263 now. <laughs> so, welcome to Kingston. And fast forward, we may as well take the last ranked guy here. Ryan Paquette. Welcome to Kingston. And there you go. We're all done. <laughs> so... Now, I believe what's up next is the awards. Yeah, the award ceremony on May 31st. But, you know, it's already been an extremely long episode. 28 minutes on the recording. There's other recordings that I want to get done today because of the uh, week and a half long absence due to my, uh, my little sinus infection there preventing me from commentating. So, uh, I'll end this, this one off here. And the next one, we'll get to the awards. We'll get to, I believe, the OHL or the CHL import draft is still coming up so we have that to look forward to i'll see you guys in the next one